Who's the dumb non-stop all the time? <laughs> The day I determined to, to become a professional poet uh, for a living, I had only one example of this. A man who, who had lived 140 years previously in Paris, France, and his name was Charles Baudelaire, a man who gave uh, public uh, recitations of his work and, uh, as I said, made a, made a coin out of it. This is from his collection uh, entitled Spleen et Ideal, and, uh, and this one's uh, translated into English is the vampire. You who like a dagger's thrust entered my complaining soul, sweet and potent as a host of demons came, wild and beautiful, to make my heart cast on the ground into your bed and your domain, wretch infamous to whom I am bound, like the convict to the chain, the stubborn gambler to his dice, the drunkard to his revelry, the carrion to worms and lice. I implored the rapid sword to succour my timidity. I begged the poison I abhorred to uh, the secure my liberty. Alas, the poison and the sword only showed contempt for me. You deserve not the reward of freedom from your slavery. Fool, if your resolution saved you from its sovereignty, you would kiss alive again the vampire's tenement of clay. The Vampire by Charles Baudelaire. Oh, plenty of stuff. My, my daughter plays me a lot of stuff. There's a, there's a, there's a team I, around at the moment. I've got to love them. I've got to love these guys. They're called the Working Men's Club. Track three on their latest smash album Gonna be a gonna be a killer. The Working Men's Club, track three, John Cooper Clark. Who's the dumb? Well, what does a poet want to be? If he's going to be successful, he's got to be answerable to uh, to the public at large, and I think that's my, one of my great strengths here. So therefore, I want to be somehow always on your radar, non-stop all the time <laughs> that's the plan anyway my triple pillars of reference were john wayne muhammad ali and elvis anybody who is a hundred percent convinced that they're doing the right thing is, is a, a great source of inspiration to me you know like elvis you know who was elvis before elvis there was no elvis john wayne elvis muhammad ali you know it's, it, that says it all that's that's the that's what a right guy looks like. Either of them three guys is a, is a proper chap. It was an on-stage experience where nobody really knew who I was. <laughs> it was back in the, towards the end of the wilderness years, you know. Uh, I had this gig uh, emceeing for uh, the great uh, Chuck Berry. Uh, it was a tour of Spain, so nobody knew who I was. Even Chuck didn't know who I was. I think he thought I was one of the Rolling Stones, because I'll be honest with you, I was wearing a, a bandana because of, you know, my hair needed touching up. So I, had the, so I had the old dirty red bandana. So I think he might have mistaken me for, uh, hopefully, for uh, Keith Richards or, or, Ron, or Ronnie Wood. So anyway, he said he wouldn't do it, wouldn't do the tour unless I was the MC. <laughs> Chuck Berry, the greatest lyricist in the rock and roll world. No doubt about it. Boy, was he some kind of genius. And I did write modern day uh, funeral arrangements. I hate to be too relevant here, but uh, burners. No muss, no fuss, just turn to dust. At burners. The creme de la crematoria. You'll never get food poisoning from a chip shop. What could live in those temperatures? Never enter into a game of cards with a man whose first name is Doc. Never exit a bookies with a smile on your face. 